Now the sweet smell of success. Jim Axelrod tells us it's coming from Colette's Kitchen. Like any other budding entrepreneur, Colette DeVito guards her company's proprietary information quite carefully. This is the recipe. Yes, it is. But it's secret, right? It's a secret, yes, it is. We can't... No. Uh, but Colette, born 26 years ago with Down syndrome, is not like any other budding entrepreneur. It's my dream at the cupboard, too. It's your dream. Her kitchen always made her happy. But when she kept getting rejected for jobs, she decided it was going to make her money. And Coletti's Cookies was born. <laughs> you know what you do smell, though? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips? Yes. And money. Exactly. Money, honey. Rosemary Alfredo is her mother. I think that all of that rejection for her made her say, I'll show them. So there she was a couple of weeks ago selling 100 cookies a week at the Golden Goose. Give me smooch. Mm -hmm. Whose owner, Stephen DeAngelis, was the only grocer in Boston to give her shelf space. The entrepreneur has already started a cookie business in Boston. Then the CBS station ran a story that went viral. Now she has to fill 4,000 orders from around the country. With a dozen per order, Colette has to bake 50,000 cookies. All you have to do is scoop it and then cut it down like this. Okay. The Commonwealth Kitchen, a nonprofit business incubator, has stepped in to help her scale up. And Colette is now closer to her real dream. Your successful company will be a model yes. for other people with disabilities. Exactly, yes. It and is. If they'll say if Colette can do it, they can do it. Turns out the secret ingredient she bakes into her cookies is not such a mystery after all. Is the secret ingredient you've been protecting so much, is it love? Yes, it is. Always, always being love. It's good and it's fun. Which makes both the cookies and the special young woman baking them good job. about as sweet as they come. Oh, it's so good. Yes. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Boston. I'll take a dozen.